Is cheese coming to Battlefield 2042, and if so, in what manner? Also, what is cheese? Well, we're going to discuss that today. Now, without further ado, remember, if you do enjoy today's video, to leave it a nice, thick, and juicy like, as always, of course, if you enjoy this kind of content and want more like it, be sure to hit that big red sexy subscribe button right underneath the video. Also, got to say, I've been streaming a ton lately. It's been awesome hanging out with you guys on stream. If you want to swing by and say hi, be sure to hit that notification bell. Last but not least, got to thank my channel members. You legends help make these videos possible. If you want to join, get access to the exclusive perks that they get, and be sure to check out that blue join button. Anyway, let's begin. So what is cheese? Cheese is essentially all the things that you get pissed off at in the game. Well, maybe not everything, but the things that are completely uncounterable and anyone with approximately negative four brain cells can pick up and get numerous kills with. Think the Ilya Muramets, the mortar truck from Battlefield 1. Think the A6M Zeros from Battlefield 5. Think the tank camping meta from Battlefield 5. Even the mortars from both Battlefield 1 and 4. That's not fun. It's essentially anything that takes away fun and requires absolutely no skill to use. And also, I would argue, it's not even fun for the one person using it because there is an optimal amount of challenge to ease of use ratio that someone needs to actually feel engaged in having fun with a particular game or weapon or mechanic or something to where if it is too easy, I mean, aside from the dopamine addicts I see you out there with your 100 star Ilias, that people just aren't gonna spend time with. I know from experience because I've hardly touched the vehicle vehicles in a game like Battlefield 5 because they're boring because like this little clip here I can just hop in a non-upgraded Greyhound because I just haven't touched it and only did it for the sake of trying to get a clip for this video and I can go out and get quite a few kills with it. Yeah, Battlefield 5 everyone. Excellent balancing. I also want to point out that BF5 balanced the tanks in such a cheesy way that even if you go to the test range you can see how intentional it is. It teaches you how to tank camp. Wow, so much fun. I want my tanks not a part of the combined arms gameplay. That's incredible. Now again, it's frustrating, I'm sure, for the people who are dying to these things. After all, it can be any mud cruncher that can just pick these darn things up and kill you with it, so your skill doesn't even matter in this case, and that's really the big frustration with these sorts of things. The other one is, of course, if you can't counter it. That really makes it the ultimate cheese. So you have something like the Ilya, which takes approximately, like I said, 0.2 brain cells to actually use, and then you can't counter it because it's way up at the flight ceiling of the game, and unless you can get in a plane, which the other pilots on your team are hogging because they're all in attack plane, Planes, just bombing the other team relentlessly and not shooting down the Ilya, uh, it's going to be very hard to take it out. So that's why it is frustrating. So will it be in Battlefield 2042? And in what form will it be? Well, the thing that I'm most terrified of in 2042 is if the vehicles are dumbed down from how they were in a game like BF4. Of course, this game is essentially the successor to Battlefield 4, so it makes sense if the vehicles were balanced and utilized in such a way to be able to come in and it takes spending some time with these vehicles and getting good with them to actually be successful with them. Honestly, going back and trying to fly a helicopter in Battlefield 4, it honestly takes a relative amount of skill to just pick up and fly these things straight, let alone being able to just dominate a server with them. It's far more impressive to get 25 kills with a helicopter in BF4, in my opinion, than it is to get 100 kills with the Ilya Muramets. That's a fact. It just is. It takes way more skill. Ilya, it's just a click of a button. Chopper, you got to watch out for the lock-ons. You got to fly it straight. You got to maneuver really well with it you got to be able to hopefully have a teammate who's on board who's trying to at least heal your plane or if not you got to be able to quickly land heal and then get back up in the air you got to be able to use your countermeasures correctly you got to be able to fly into cover and out of cover there's a lot of things you have to consider when you are flying a helicopter in bf4 and that's the kind of skill level i want to see sure are the sweats annoying yes especially at this point because they've been doing it for eight years but it's okay because it takes an immense amount of skill to get to that point it takes a lot to get there and not just anyone can pick it up immediately and do it. Whereas you're seeing in Battlefield 5, every time you hop into a server, someone is grabbing the Zero, for example. If you've ever been on the Pacific maps, you know the Zeros are coming in to ruin all your fun. If you're on Battlefield 1 and you're playing operations, you know the Ilya pilots are coming in to ruin all your fun. Same with the artillery truck drivers. That is the issue with cheese, and hopefully that sort of thing isn't coming to 2042, at least in no significant manner. I'm sure DICE will include something because they have to, of course, 
appeal to the lowest common denominator so you have to have those one click cannons on there just so little Timmy can pick it up and be really really good in his opinion that's the uh, if it's counterable as long as I can counter it it's okay is it annoying sure but if I can go around and I can counter it like for example the mortars that used to be in BF1 as overpowered as they used to be they're a bit more balanced now but you can still sneak around and you can take out the guy that's using it that's okay because the range wasn't too ridiculous like I said you can go around and deal with them but there are things that you can't counter and that's where the real issue comes into play and hopefully with the ability to call in our own vehicles we can go up and deal with any cheesy vehicles that are in the sky which again is another perk I know some people think that vehicle call-ins are going to result in a lot more tank campers I honestly don't think that's the case because you have to think you can call in your vehicles as well so if they're being just absolute tools out there well they probably don't have the highest skill in the world so you can probably just go out there and take them out yourself or at least get in with a squad and go out there with you know say you got a tank and a couple of engineer buddies they hop out and they help to take it out as well if they are a relatively skilled driver who's just being a knob we can just go out there and do that there's plenty of ways around it and i do think that the vehicle call-in system can help aid in reducing the amount of cheese but at the end of the day it comes down a lot in my opinion to how they balance the vehicles is it going to be like bf5 where tanks have to camp are the helicopters for example going to be dumbed down so that anyone can use them like the zeros or the attack planes in, in previous two titles how's it going to be i don't know Hopefully it's good, hopefully it requires a decent amount of skill, and hopefully the cheese is about as minimal, preferably not at all, in Battlefield 2042 as it can be. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like cheese? And if so, do you also like to eat glue? If you don't like cheese, let me know your least favorite cheese in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.